Hey, what's going on, guys? Sammy Nguyen here, and today we are going to be do downloading the HBM Nuclear Tech Mod 1.12 version. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to... So what you want to do is, first things first, you want to download them. Actually, no, the first thing you actually want to do is you want to go to the Forge... Uh, Forge website of 1.12.2... <coughs> All right, so we're going to go to that, and you want to go to the 1.12.2 version, and you want to make sure you like click on the installer. Uh, other stuff's useful to us, or at least not to me anyway. And you got to wait for this stupid ad to add block, so I don't have to deal with that advertisement. Now you want to download it. I already downloaded it, so I don't have to download it again. Well, if I wanted to, I'd, I'd just do that, replace it. You know, all right. And so, next thing we want to do is we want to go to the uh, this page here. Actually, no. Before that, we actually have to load up the Minecraft version. We have to run the Forge installer. So, actually, pop up on the opposite screen. So, you see this? You're gonna click Install Client, and you're gonna click OK. You want to make sure it's at the correct directory. And when it's done, I can't show you it because. Uh, the thing will not allow me to have move it over here, but it says basically the Forge installer has been successfully installed. If there's any problems with it, I really can't help you with that because I have no idea how to, uh, you know, figure all that stuff out. All right, next things next. You want to open up your uh, Minecraft version. You, well, you see this right here? You want to click on that. And you want to load that up. So what after that? You're gonna go to your Minecraft folder, and I already have the 1.12. I already have this folder right here, but if you just installed Forge like for your first time, then you will not have this folder. So what you want to do is just want to create new folder and then type in the mods, like the word mods, and then click OK or create a folder or whatever. And after that, then you, if you're gonna install multiple versions of the like. Minecraft or whatever, like mods. What you, you would do is whatever version you were creating your mod pack or whatever you're using it for is you would use you would create uh, like let's say I'm using 1.7.10 or something for a mod pack or just one mod or something. I would create that folder, rename it to uh, 1.10. Point I mean 1.7.10. And then I click OK. And you can do that with any one of these. Except for this one right now because this one's actually opened up in this in the Minecraft version already. Alright, so what you want to do next is you wanna take you wanna go to your after you uh, opened up Minecraft, which I already did. And once you open up Minecraft you just have to open up to this thing. I already have like some mods loaded, so like you usually won't have this many mods loaded. If uh, it might be like four or something, because the last time I did this without any mods, it was like four mods installed. I have no idea why, but yet next you're gonna go quit your game again, and what you what you will have now. Okay, maybe the forge thing actually makes its own mod. Okay. Either it makes its own mod folder or you have to make it. I'm not really sure. I haven't done this in a long time. But basically what you're going to do next is you're going to go to the tags right here. You see that? And you're going to go to the update tab to the recent one. This was released four days ago. And you want to go to assets. Now once you go here, there's like three options here. These both are unnecessary unless you're going to like develop a new mod. Like from scratch. A new version of this mod from scratch or I should say this one is the one you're looking for the one that looks like a little cube you want to download that I already have it downloaded so we're just gonna slap it in there again and now what you want to do is you want to open up your minecraft again minecraft exe 
Anyway, you see you got, you got your Forge version here. Okay, so you're going to select that. And what's it going to... It's going to load up all these mods that you have installed. I have... Some of these are like drivers and stuff, so... I am a very messy person when it comes to uh, computer installations. And, well, it considers that to be a mod anyway. Interesting. So, yeah, don't worry about all the the other weird stuff. You're just worried about the Forge stuff and the damage damage indicators and all that other stuff all right and then minecraft's gonna open up and um of course it has to be in my primary window and not my secondary one no extra hugs oh come on it just freaking did it again I'll open this bad boy up i have already worlds loaded up from the last time i used this but you, you usually won't have this come up unless you have worlds in it too now do like don't actually load up any worlds unless like they're like you know that you've run this mod in before like this one i know i can like bring it up because no like major changes have happened since the last okay maybe never mind <laughs> disregard that don't do that that was my uh, uh, world for the last video I made. So, something must have broke majorly on it. Anyway. So, now you want to uh, basically load up your world. Or a new one. Actually, yeah. You load up a new one. That'd be the, the best bet for you. And it might take a while. Now, depends on how much RAM your computer has, too. Like, how long this would take. Oh, it's gonna take a while because I got a lot of processes open right now. I I have <laughs> fifteen tabs and maybe not that many. Come on. I'll be back when the dang thing loads up. <laughs> hey, well. Hurry up, damn it. It usually is a lot quicker than this. I don't know why it's taking long. <laughs> okay, come on. Damn it. Okay, we're gonna have to try that again for some reason. It just like committed suicide. It doesn't like be. Oh, no, not that one. Shoot. <laughs> okay, well, it usually works, but yeah, it literally worked earlier. We don't have to keep that open anymore. Oh, I might have to allocate more RAM again. Oh, yeah, that's the problem. Okay. Yeah, even even I make mistakes sometimes, and I forgot to allocate more than 2 gigabytes of RAM. Who the fuck does that? Now, if you want to uh, have an easy way of allocating RAM, there is a... um. One of these things has it. Not this one. This one's not helpful. Okay, where is it? <laughs> Boomer energy. Ah, yes. Guide. How to allocate more RAM in your Minecraft. This might work on your version. It might not. Who knows? <laughs> We're going to allocate a whole freaking this much RAM right here. Whole 8 gigabytes. Now, you don't want to copy these both in the same thing, obviously. Alright. Let's open up Minecraft again. Okay. So now, since we have to allocate RAM, we're going to have to go to Installations. More Options, I think is what it is. You see right here, this is only two. I think you could just make it like this much. I don't know if that will work. We're going to try it that way first. If it just doesn't work at all, then we're going to have to, like, physically type something out. <laughs> Alright, that actually worked. Come on. 
I just gotta sneak this little bad boy in here. Look at that. That actually worked. Okay. So that should be more enough than enough for our Minecraft installation because it says we only have seven mods installed. Now, if you have more mods than that, then you might need more RAM. My computer has a whopping 32 gigabytes of RAM, so RAM is not really a problem for me. I do need to get a new processor at some point, though, because it is a little dated. All right, so <laughs> we should do it hardcore. Yeah. Yeah, just kidding. No. <laughs> Why don't we just do creative? <laughs> Lol. Alright, then create you new your new world. And that was uh ah, see it's actually loading this time. So you see that's what happens if you don't actually have like enough RAM to run your Minecraft. See look at that. Okay, well. Apparently one of these mods is having a issue. Now we're gonna have to diagnose that. Well, this is turned into a diagnose diagnostic video. So what I like to do is play the typical game of removing every mod until one of them works. You want to quit the whole entire Minecraft? Mod, okay. And probably delete all this too. I That might, uh, I don't know, have a problem with it. I did work the other day, so maybe it's the new Minecraft version has a bug or something. Who knows? <laughs> or the new version of the mod. <clears throat> So what I like to do, oops, I don't know where I put that. <laughs> okay, well, I removed it, I guess. All right, so what I like to do when I'm ever I'm troubleshooting mods is I like to create a new folder. I just name it folder because you're just gonna dump all the mods in here or whatever you're using. Now there's only see like there's only three mods here. We're trying to load up the HBM Nuclear Tech mod. So we're going to throw the rest of them in there for now. And then we're going to load up our Minecraft again. There's probably a simpler way of doing all this. Easier way of doing all this. But I am not a simple person. Alright. It's loaded up. It's going to pop in that screen again. All right, and it's gonna take a while, but uh, but uh, but uh, but uh, see the just by itself, the mod doesn't really use too much RAM actually. Now that I think about it, <laughs> all right, you slide that over here, and hope it freaking loads this. <laughs> okay, so if this version doesn't work, you might want to scroll down and use like an earlier version because there might just be like a bug with that or something. There's plenty of versions here to pick from. I know for a fact that this version right here does work. This version right here. This one worked the last time I used it, which was literally when I made that video. Okay, so that did work. Okay, so there must have been like some collect, uh, conflicting like mod or something. <laughs> I don't know why I decided to full screen it. Dang. Alright, so yeah. Now you just want to you're in creative, then you just look at that. Got all the mods in there. Look at that. Minecraft 1.12.2. And hmm. interesting. Look at all this fun stuff. The uh, very nice caves. And that's how you install the Minecraft uh, 1.12. 12 version of the HBM Nuclear Tech Mod. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> yeah, I already said that, didn't I?